We've caught up with Zach in the uh, PlayStation Lounge to find out a little bit more about a game that I knew very little about, but I'm, I'm intrigued after playing just a couple of minutes and seeing what Sound Shapes is all about. Really, the title on the box is what it's all about. It's about shapes and sounds and shaping sounds, really, playing a platformer and constructing your own music and your own levels. Yeah, that's exactly it. I mean, at its core, it's a it's a musical platformer. So, you know, sort of a classic 2D side-scrolling platformer where everything in the world makes music. So everything you jump on, all the enemies, everything you interact with, is is creating this custom soundtrack as you play. But like you said, the other side of it is you can make your own levels. So all of the content in the campaign can be mixed and matched to make your own unique songs because everything's you know musical in the game. So when you're building a level, you're making a song, and that can be shared with the community. And, and you're also, it's also like a collaborative effort to create the game because you've brought in a lot of artistic talent into sort of creating the, the content of the game that's there from the start. Yeah, so we have, uh, on the music side, we have I Am Robot and Proud. Uh, we have uh, Dead Mouse and uh, Jim Guthrie. Um, so yeah, it's cool because you can take all of these different musical styles and mix and match them and remix them in really unique ways, uh, all within the context of a game, which is really unique. Yeah. And, and I think uh, the Vita is also the perfect place to do this on because you have it in your pocket and if you create music you can listen to it and it's sort of enjoyable way. It's, you know, it sort of fits the, the, the platform really well. Yeah, it's also really immediate. So because there's the touch interfaces on the front and the back, you know, you're literally tapping on the screen to hear samples and then you're, you're just pressing and holding on the screen to lay down loops and objects. So there's this immediate feedback happening with the device that really, you know, is, it speaks really well for the style of game that it is. Um, yeah, it's great. It really works out nice. So, uh, will there also be options to share it with, with friends, what you've created as well? Yeah, so the whole community side to it. Um, so even if you don't want to create your own levels, there's going to be a vast amount of levels that people have made, uh, you know, all the time. So that, you know, you can access a community section within the game. There's also a website offline so you can browse new content, you can rate and talk about the various levels. So there's a sort of a built-in community sort of social aspect to it too. Because even in the game you can you can you can gain fans, people can follow you and you can follow other people. So if you if you find somebody you really like their levels, you can sort of keep an eye on them and see what they're up to. They'll show up in your news feed all the time. So um, and that's all built into the game side. I think the beautiful thing is that and, and perhaps you need to we need to talk a little bit about it is that you, you don't have to sort of start by creating a level, you can start by just creating the music you want yeah. in that level and then yeah. sort of build, shape a, 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 a level around that. Yeah, that's what's great about it. I mean, you could, you could make, you know, sort of a gamey, platformy level because with just stuff, because, you know, everything from lasers to enemies and surfaces, they all make music too. Or you could just make a really cool jam with all the collectible notes and loops and then build surfaces around all that. So it's really kind of up to the player and we're, we're really excited as, you know, creators, what people are going to do with it, you know, because it's really, it's, there's so much you can do, you know. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And, and I, I'd imagine that it'd be cool to add even more content to the game later on as well as, as DLC because it seems like, you know, yeah. you could just add, keep adding on it. Yeah, it's something we definitely want to do, for sure. You know, continue to, you know, foster the community, add new content for people creating stuff. Um, yeah, it's definitely in our plans. And uh, where are you at in development right now, and, and when can we ex expect to, to play it? Well, we're almost done. <laughs> uh, it comes out August, uh, I believe it comes out on August 8th in Europe, uh, 7th in the States. And uh, yeah, we're really, we're coming down to the wire, really excited. Is it a, a downloadable title or both? It's downloadable and it's also coming out for PS3. So uh, you, for one price, for $14.99, I think, I'm not sure what the Euro equivalent is, uh, but you get both SKUs. So even if you don't have a Vita, you buy the PS3 version, you're entitled to the Vita version. So when you buy it, it's there for you in the store. And they both work together. So there's cross-saving, cloud-saving. Uh, so if you're kind of creating something on the go or playing your campaign on the go and you want to resume it when you get home, you can do that. That's brilliant because on PlayStation 3 also there's already a huge community 
for creating exactly. these kind of things exactly. there, so yeah. everyone will benefit from that. Absolutely. So you know, even if you're just a PS3 user and you want to play all this content, um, you're playing stuff that people have made on Vita. You're playing stuff that people have made on PS3. And you know, I think one of the cool things about the editor is that you don't have to be a musician. You don't have to be musically inclined to make something that sounds good because the game sort of auto corrects for you. It sort of syncs things up and makes it sound cool. So we're hoping that a lot of people will engage it and create some cool stuff. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.